Okay, um, this is something here. I wanted to make a vlog about this, but I never got around to. And this has been forever. Um, now, this uh, channel, the Zelvadrian channel, it's my opinions, fine, but I'll allow any opinion on it. So, um, I had one of my uh, uh, vlogs that I did against the Young Turks for denouncing abstinence only classes for kids. And I had a bunch of losers say, too bad you can't get laid. And kind of stuff. So I, at the time, I didn't delete them. But I, I, I'm going to practice that in the future because these schmucks, you know, or better yet, respond back to them or something. Sometimes I might leave it open to so they show everybody how ignorant they are and uh, discredit their own side, which is kind of within them itself. But as far as trying to ban or block someone, I'll allow any opinion on my channel, you know, as far as raw ideology is concerned. But since it's about me, it's, you know... I'm going to make this exactly a conservative channel. It's pretty much anything goes. So, But uh, I have an anti-gore site, nogore.org. The actual URL, which I no longer own. It's like a French website took over it now. Um, and in the title was No Gore 2000. It was a site against, to try to be against Gore for 2000. And uh, I took note almost every few days about how many web hits I got. On, I had a counter. Uh, from I think digits.com, I don't think they host that anymore or whatever, but there's a million clones that do the same thing today, that was kind of a fad in the 90s. Now it's social media is taking root, pretty much everybody has their social media page and it's not so much their own website anymore, so you have to buy your own domain name now and pay for hosting and all that, so it's a free thing, so you know. But anyway, um, the stats of the hits that I got, nogore.org, were like this, as this chart shows. Um, during the announcement, uh, or six months prior, like he did, like in the June of 99 or whatever, yeah, that kind of rising action. And on December of 99, since 2000 is the election year, November something, 2000, I have to look that up. November 2000, first Tuesday of November, I think it is, every year, every presidential year. And the uh, primaries and caucuses, that's where everything cooks up, it starts really heating up because they're all battling for the nomination, the two major parties. Okay, so uh, Super Tuesday and Super Tuesday 2 is, I think it's sometimes officially or unofficially called, whatever. And then you pretty much have the nomination locked down, or you do have it locked down. And the third party is barely making a blip on the radar. I think Rock Pro was the only time the third party got some real notoriety. I was in the 92 race. And things simmer down, and they're gearing up for the convention. So traffic on my site plummeted down. I might have gotten hit, um, I don't know, 300 times a month. And during the uh, primaries and caucuses, the convention months, I was getting hit 1,200 and 2,000 times a month or higher. It was, it was, it was significant, very significant. So it's building up to the conventions. And it's, it's the two conventions, for the Republicans and the Democrats. And they, they finish their conventions, and it simmers down again. And that last... Uh, six weeks, two months whatever, before the election, it cooks back up again with the debates and the actual election night. Now notice this hump that I have for the election. It's not uh, a bell curve. It, it's it's sloppy, tilted, and right in the election night I have it plummets, it plummets down. I did it on purpose because that's how it was with traffic on my site. In spite of the fact that there's a controversy in Florida, the Florida ballots, um, and Al Gore uh, withdrew his concession to uh, Bush uh, Jr. and said, uh, nope, nope, I'm not acknowledging the feat yet because we got to recount this and recount that. And there was, there was a discrepancy and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the pregnant chads and all this kind of stuff, the butterfly ballots and all that. But uh, my traffic went down to just zilch. On election day, the 24 hours, I got hit 2,000 times in 24 hours. That was outrageous. I started my site... Um, I, I have written down I, did, I kept the composition, I kept notes of it but like uh, September or earlier of 98 and um, so that, that was two years up to November of 98 so two years and a few months and I got hit under 80,000 times, it was like 72,000 or 73,000 or something like that and my site wasn't being promoted. I wasn't spending advertising time, and I didn't get some big endorsement from whatever. Um, I think uh, one of my friends had a boss who said, Walton and Johnson, or whatever their names were, mentioned my 
website on their radio show or something but I don't know if that was a supposition or he heard something wrong or whatever but I don't know weird but anyway um so um well with all that being said and I had my uh, site trafficking stats from my web host that allowed me to see where I got my traffic from and it was all the sites that I already knew about that I swapped links with they had um gwbush.com which was a hilarious story it was a fake uh, spoof bush site which which uh, ticked off the real George W Bush and that was something different things like that so for your election cycle with web traffic it's not that it's stacked this goes for the 2000 race before social media as we know it took its took root but this is what a presidential election uh, internet traffic looks like when people are logging in so expect to have low traffic in between the primaries and caucuses, the conventions, and right after the conventions for the cook-up with the base of the election.